I need to think about it. When the client says this, I'm gonna tell you exactly what to say. But before I do, make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more sales tactic videos just like this. After taking over 6,000 sales calls over the last four to five years, I know exactly how to handle objections. So make sure you listen to this video. So when the client says, I need to think about it, there is actually a underlining cause for that kind of sales resistance. The reason why they're giving you that objection is because of sales resistance, because you haven't addressed the real objection. So this is where you're then going to ask this question. You're saying, hey, listen, I know we all have to think about stuff. Could we kind of just go over where that disconnect might be? You know, what, like, what would make you, you know, in a perfect world, what would make you move forward today? What's that ideal situation for you? And then obviously they're gonna give you, you know, obviously what their ideal situation is, you know, hey, I want this and this and this. Oh, so the objection is this. You're looking to actually find the underlying objection. The whole idea to think about a thing is just, they're just, they don't wanna spend the money, okay? There's a reason or objection that you have not addressed yet to make them make a buying decision. So you need to address it and find out what that thing is. And now you're gonna go down this why path with them. So it's like, hey, like what's the one thing that you would want out of this program, okay? Like, just be honest with me. Like, what's the one thing that you're looking for as far as a team or whatever the case may be? Like, what's that one thing? Once they tell you what it is, now you know the objection, which is, okay, well, are, and then if they say, hey, I need 30 clients. Well, are you worried about how we're gonna get you results? Yeah, yeah, I just don't, that's the objection. They don't need to think about it. You need to find out what the real objection is. The whole I need to think about a thing is this vague answer that the prospect gives you because they don't need to think about it. They just haven't gotten their objections answered. They haven't gotten the right triggers in order to make a buying decision on the spot. Also, it could be other things. You know, it could be, you know, they just haven't made good decisions in the past or they're not capable of making their own decisions because maybe they're not an adult yet. Like there's, there's a lot of things that people will facade about or lie about because they just don't want to admit their faults. So the whole I need to think about it ordeal is just for them to kick the rock down the road, you know, or their curiosity has driven them to show up to the call. So other things that I'll say too is like, hey, I understand you got to think about it. Um, but you know, we did go over and that's why I talk about my other video about framing the phone call, which is, you know, and we did talk about this and this and this, and you know, you said that all the boxes checked off, you know, you'd be able to make that decision. So there's gotta be something holding you back. So what's that one thing right now in a perfect world that would make this decision a hundred times easier? And you could be upfront with it, you know, what would you want out of this to make sure that you're comfortable finding the right team? And like I said, you know, it's kind of what I said before, but they're going to give you the real objection. Then you can take the objection from there and then go down the Y path. They're like, okay, well, why? Why do you want that? Why do you want guaranteed results at X amount per month? Like why? Well, because, well, that means that you would need an eight row ads. Like you're going down the numbers now and it's like, that's not practical. So now you're bringing their high expectations and you're kicking them because you're trying to bring them back to truth land, which is like, hey, like not everything fucking goes your way in life. So you're kind of bringing them like this truth because a lot of people try to sell the dream. It's like, get a 10X row ads, fucking make 10K a month. And then you come in and you're like, actually, John, that's not gonna fucking happen. And this is probably not gonna happen either. But this, I can see what I can do. And you're bringing them down this practicality train. And I just think that a lot of people need to be told the word no as well. The whole, you need to think about a thing. I come into that space with a huge aggressiveness. You know, a lot of you guys have seen my sales call recordings. I'm very aggressive. I curse at people. I let them know that they're wrong. I, you know, I, I want to tell them no. Where it's like, hey, listen, man, like I know you're looking for this. But I'm just gonna be upfront, man. That is the dumbest shit I've heard all day. Now, that's not gonna fucking happen. Okay, it doesn't even happen for me. It's not gonna happen for this person. Our biggest case study ever didn't even achieve that. And you're looking for that result. So are you just scared to take the leap? Or are you trying to give me unrealistic expectations because you're not actually confident in what we can do? You know, like that's where you're trying to find that medium ground with them and kind of bring them back to reality because there's always that one objection and most of the time it's results. Uh, most of the time it might be, you know, turnaround times um, or it's about the money. Okay. So how do we make that more feasible? A big thing with the money objection is like, you know, making maybe weekly payments or bi-weekly payments or, you know, Hey, we can do this and this and we can add X and X and X deliverable to give you more value, which is originally this price. And then we can bring it down. So, or a scholarship or whatever the case may be that you can give them. So I hope that helps you answer this objection moving forward because the whole I need to think about it is not really an objection. It's, it, it's a mask for what the real one is because they don't want you to uncover it because if you can uncover it, you can close it. So hope you guys enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.